Everything here starts with water. Rainfall, streams, groundwater, soils, vegetation, wildlife. Everything is connected. And the streams are the arteries, the heartbeat of the system. This is the story of the regeneration of the largest stream on Riverby Ranch, Willow Branch Creek. It's a network as big as some river systems, six miles of streams and 11 miles of tributaries. It drains two thirds of the watershed on the ranch and its rhythms as it ebbs and flows its way to the Red River directly control what kind of trees, grasses, and wetlands can survive and thrive, and what creatures will come back as we restore this vast 15,000 acre former ranch to native habitats. We used to joke that Willow Branch was the branch that ate the ranch. It's kind of funny, when we first showed up on the, on the site and we looked at Willow Branch, it was this very massively incised, highly eroded channel. It had like a cross section that looked like this. It looked like a mini Grand Canyon. And if you were to put me in the bottom of it, there I would be, okay? So it had these this very, very, very eroded channel. You had trees, trees falling into it, trees laying down at the bottom of it, you know, that had fallen into it just because of the sheer volume of water that was pulsing down this channel and, and, and carrying off sediment and eroding sediment from that channel. And this wasn't an intentional outcome, but it was, it was the, it was the result of years and years of channelizing willow branch in order to get water off of the agricultural fields in a more efficient manner. It's been a common practice in agriculture over the last 150 years to reshape the flow of water through cropland and pastures. Often the most efficient way to do this was to channelize a stream, to ditch it by making it a straight line, making it deeper and with more of a V-shape. The new channel moves water, especially during storms, very quickly downstream. It won't flood the crop fields by overflowing its banks. This gives landowners more control over how crops get the water they need at the time they need it. But channelizing has a ripple effect on how everything else gets water. In a natural state, groundwater is recharged by systems that slow, stop, and sink the water. When it rains, stream banks swell and spill over into their adjacent floodplains, giving water time to soak into the land. By contrast, the rapid, flashy flow of the engineered channel behaves like an expressway with no exits. It moves fast, preventing croplands along the stream bank from flooding. But water has less time to sink back into the groundwater table, and its velocity means it picks up much more sediment, rushing it downstream, where it can harm rivers and lakes and even the ocean. Channelizing can happen in two ways. The existing stream path can be straightened and ditched, or it can be diverted, creating an entirely new, more direct path to the nearest river or tributary. Over time at River By Ranch, both techniques were used. A very long section of the existing stream was ditched in order to protect hundreds and hundreds of acres of cotton. And we believe Willow Branch was also diverted twice, 
which made finding the original stream path the one Mother Nature wanted, a true detective story. Finding the original location for Willow Branch, I think, has been one of the more exciting. We went through multiple design phases. Each time we tried to put Willow Branch back into a more natural position, uh, you know, and there's not a lot of record of where Willow Branch went, but by looking at the landscape, looking at old photographs, going in the field, over time we were able to find its original uh, historic uh, um, channel. This was a case where we were able to like sleuth it like a detective and figure out what was the best solution for the stream itself that um, it'll function better, be more stable, be more ecologically successful. Having found the right path, our team spent months designing how to restore this highly channelized stream system back to the meandering path that was nature's original concept. It was a massive feat of design and engineering. The boldest part of the plan constructing an entirely new, winding, meandering stream right next to the long stretch of the older, man-made ditch. After two very full years of construction, the result is a stream that's once again connected to its floodplain. We added two miles back to that stream system. Now we put the water back into a properly sized channel and allowed that water to come out of its flood out of its channel into the surrounding floodplain, slow that water down, and dissipate that water across the landscape, and let that water, that sediment-laden water, drop out its sediments. And so pulsing floods through these areas, even if the water stayed for a few days or whatever, wasn't really a problem. It was actually, it was actually something we really wanted to see. So now the cycle is complete. We've restored Little Branch to its original meandering path across the land filling in the old aversion and giving the new stream time and space to rehydrate the land. But in the process, we've created yet another abandoned channel. But the question became, what do we do with a couple of miles of old incised stream channel that we now have, have abandoned? We didn't have enough material to harvest from anywhere to completely fill Old Willow Branch. That would have been quite a feat. But what we did have was material to plug Willow Branch. So we would take fill material from the surrounding landscape or from other parts of the, of the restoration and we would plug Willow Branch in strategic location. That in and of themselves became these nice little areas of habitat, wildlife habitat, because we didn't take out the old, what was left of the old riparian zone, those trees that had not fallen in to the eroding channel. We left them there. Most of those were boat arc trees. A lot of them, a lot of them were boat arc trees. So we left those, plugged up the old channel strategically. These ponds mimic nature's oxbow lakes and are now part of the new wetland features of the ranch, providing acres and acres of instantly mature habitats for wildlife. One of the things we did notice was that uh, the water still flowing through the old channel where we hadn't completed all the plugs yet was still red, muddy, and heavily sediment laden, just like you would expect. But what we noticed was that the water flowing through the newly restored channel, that water was, was very light on sediment. 
you could almost put it in a cup and if you, if you didn't know it was coming out of a stream, you might be tempted to just drink it because it looked so clear as compared to the water that was flowing through that old eroded channel. I, I was not expecting that big of a difference in that short of a time. As a child of the Gulf Coast, I'm very appreciative of this project. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's carried along with that sediment, you know, pesticides, uh, uh, fertilizers, and other nutrients. The lower that load of nutrient going into the Red River, the lower the nutrient loads are going into the Mississippi River, which feeds the hypoxic zone in the Gulf of Mexico, a massive area of algal blooms and depleted oxygen that is devoid of animal life. This could have a positive effect um, uh, on more than just River by Ranch or the local Red River. This could have a positive effect all the way, all the way down into, uh, out into the Gulf of Mexico. On the eastern border of River by Ranch is land that's been under conservation for decades. As part of the Federal Natural Resources Conservation Services Wetland Reserve Program. The original Willow Branch ran through this conservation land where it met up with Bodark Creek just before that creek merges with the Red River. The last phase of the restoration was to reconnect this historic flow with the newly restored channel. We found down in the Wetlands Reserve Program this, this remnant section of Willow Branch. And walking through it is, is still a pretty cool experience. It's like walking back in time on the ranch. The trees are all riparian trees. They're these massive black willow trees and massive cottonwood trees and all these trees that had grown up along that creek but are now just sitting there in the forest with no real you know, water flowing through that channel anymore. There were even large I found a large green ash tree down there. It's probably, oh, 24, 20, 30 inch diameter green ash tree that the beavers had, had completely girdled, you know, one little bite at a time all the way around this tree, trying to uh, get ready, I guess, to, to build dams down along this whole remnant creek. Now that we've got the hydrology restored into that remnant channel, and this is very early, so I haven't seen what all is going to happen yet when the water gets turned back on. But it's going to be really cool to see how that channel comes back to life. For a century or more, the challenge at River by Ranch was to try to dry out this land that wanted to be wet, that literally thirsted for the waters of Willow Branch. Now, that land is planted with literally every kind of vegetation that we are restoring across the ranch to recreate forested wetlands, emergent wetlands, bottomland hardwood forest, native grasslands. Restoring the way water flows across the heart of the ranch helps ensure the success of the entire restoration. We're proud of the work the team has done on Willow Branch Creek and happy to know that future generations will witness its transformation back to its natural state for years to come. With Riverby Ranch being part of the Bodark Lake Mitigation Site, this landscape will be under permanent conservation. We'll be on hand to monitor the success of this stream restoration and the whole project for 20 years. After that, nature will be left to take its own course, unhindered and unfettered.